Hello Quillers, this is Agnes from Agnes Paper and Crafts. Today we are going to see how I made these quill honeybees with the wings. I have already made other videos on making these birds, framing quill artworks, packing and shipping artworks and many more. If you haven't watched them yet, have a look in the description for the links. This is the honey bee that I have traced for my work. I usually use OHP sheet or acetate to trace up the images or patterns that I want to quill. This way I can store and file them for future use. So when I need to quill the same image, this is so handy. As the sheet is clear, it is easy for me to trace from the image using OHP markers. Next. I transfer the picture to your black cardstock on which I will be quilling. This is the outline of the honeybee that I drew and I then fussy cut the image and stick it with glue to acetate so it works like a sticker and can be peeled off when we finish our quilling. As this honeybee is a small design and a small piece of paper that can't be managed without something to hold on, this method really helps. Now, let us see the quilling part. Using a small strip of black, I'm just making a small tight coil glue the end and press it to get an oval shape and take another piece of paper and roll around the previous oval in a loose form glue the end and press the excess end in a bent manner to form the mouth part of the honey bee Now we can stick it to the base, the honeybee cut that we have made. For the body, it has two colors, yellow and black. Take three strips of yellow and fold in zigzag manner so that they fit the size of the black pattern in a horizontal direction. I use a small hair clip to hold on the three strips of paper so I don't want to spend time each time finding the strips together.
when they are in the enough length I cut the end and then glue them to the body in the same way I use three black strips and make zigzag folds in the same horizontal direction you can have a check between the folds so that you can make sure it fits exactly the size of the body and when you are satisfied with the length you can just paste them make sure you hold it for a little more longer than usual so that they stay well in the shape And now for the body, I mean the tail, we can use two strips of paper so that it is even more thinner and then fold in zigzag manner but in vertical direction. It will be having three layers, first the black, then a small layer of yellow and then again black. Once done to reinforce them, we can wrap up a single paper strip around the tail part, glue over the sides of the strip and allow it to dry. Once done, we can peel off the honeybee from the acetate sheet just like a sticker. It's so simple as that. Now is to prepare the wing and add details to finish off. I use a sheet of acetate to draw over the honeybee wings. Oops, sorry. And then I turn them to the other side and draw again on the back side of the acetate. Trace them out along the same lines. And then I fussy cut them. This is a simple way of making wings. And I have used OHP pens which are permanent markers so they can write over the acetate and they stay perfect if you have some similar inks in silver or something like that you can again trace the same lines with the silver line so they stay over there and really beautiful And now it's done. And next we can make the legs and the antenna like parts using just single strips of paper. I just cut small strips of paper for the size of the legs and then just paste them to the base of the body. I should say this honeybee is for people who are really patient to do quilling or it should be better for an advanced quiller. 
because it takes really long time and there are even simpler ways to make these honey bees hope you like this if you like this video give a thumbs up and also do let me know what other topics can i speak through my video tutorials thanks for watching